This week we are looking at fitness apps and in this list I've tried to cover a range of indoor and outdoor activities that cater mostly for beginners rather than seasoned athletes. I've also tried to choose apps that for the most part require little or no equipment, so there are no excuses not to get started. And the first app on our list was created for exactly that reason, to get you off the sofa and out pounding the pavement. I think it was the National Health Service in the UK that originally came up with the idea of Couch to 5K, or C to 5K to use the abbreviation. If you've always wanted to take up jogging but never had the confidence or the motivation to start, then C to 5K might be just what you need. The premise is fairly obvious. It takes you from absolutely zero to running 5K, roughly three miles, in the space of eight weeks. I couldn't find the original NHS version of the app, but there are now several alternatives offering the same concept, and my recommendation is this one from Zen Labs, available on iOS and Android. There's no introduction with this app, there are no questions to answer or measurements to fill in. After a quick plug of its premium subscription, which you can ignore, you'll land straight on the home screen. Running along the bottom of the screen is your training schedule, above that the start button and an explanation of the first session. The menu is in the top left where you can adjust some of the settings and on the right you can connect to your Apple Music playlist or simply use some of the tracks offered by the app. The aim is to complete three 30 minute sessions per week. As you can see from the description of each session, you'll start gradually by alternating between repetitions of jogging and walking until eight weeks later when you're ready to start your first 5K or three mile jog. As you're running, you'll hear voice notifications for when to switch between jogging and walking. Start walking. The only downside to this app is that you'll need to have your phone with you because the accompanying Apple Watch app is only available on the premium subscription. For my Android friends, the app also supports Fitbit and Samsung smart watches. Other than that, there's a community forum where you can seek advice, inspiration, and share your achievements. Once you're comfortable running 5K, you might also be interested in trying out the other apps from the developer for running 10K all the way up to a full marathon. If the idea of running seems a step too far or you prefer a good walk instead, then I recommend checking out another NHS idea called Active 10. The idea behind this app is to challenge yourself to walk briskly for 10 minutes at a time. Having downloaded the app, you'll be asked a few questions about your current level of fitness and based on that, you'll be provided with a goal to aim for. The app will then track how many minutes a day you manage to walk briskly. There's no smartwatch app for Active 10, so you will need to take your phone with you on your walks, and you'll be rewarded with achievement badges based on the number of minutes you manage to clock up. On the other end of the running spectrum is Map My Run, which just might be the ultimate running app. If you're into running, you're probably already familiar with this app, as the name suggests, the app will map your route as you're running and track every measurement you can possibly think of, which is then nicely presented on lots of different graphics. It supports a range of smartwatches so you can leave the phone at home whilst you're running and it syncs to Under Armour's running shoes to give you even more data about your running sessions. Possibly, however, the biggest draw for this app for many runners is the hugely popular community. Here you can connect with your friends, share your routes, and get inspired by other awesome runners. For those of you that thrive on competition and are interested in other forms of outdoor exercise, you might want to try Strava. As with other apps, Strava will map and track your various outdoor activities, whether that be running, swimming, cycling, hiking, or even canoeing. But the stats aren't the main incentive for using Strava. Strava is all about connecting with other people, either through your phone contacts, Facebook, or just by searching for them by name. Once connected, you can then join or create challenges and competitions, such as cycling 800 kilometers over the course of a month. As you compete, you'll pick up badges and rewards whilst getting fitter and healthier. Sadly, some of Strava's features are locked away behind a paywall, but there's still plenty in the free version for it to be useful. If you thrive on competition, then Strava might be exactly what you need to get motivated. For those who prefer to exercise indoors at home rather than outdoors, Nike have made the perfect app for you guys. 
Available on iOS and Android, the Nike training app bills itself as the ultimate personal trainer. And with a library of more than 200 free workouts from strength and endurance to mobility and yoga, there's absolutely no excuses. The app caters for all level of fitness and the sessions feature video guidance from Nike instructors. You can choose from daily recommendations and collections, focus on a specific muscle group, or just browse the entire catalog. The more workouts you log, the more personalized your recommendations become. Some of the routines do require weights, but there are plenty of equipment-free workouts guaranteed to leave you aching and sore the next day. For Apple Watch owners, the accompanying app will direct you when to start and stop each exercise, and you can play, pause, and skip routines without having to reach for your phone. Honestly, this app has so much free content that you may consider binning your gym membership. If finding time to exercise is your main problem, then you might be interested in Seven. It was the American College of Sports, Medicine's Health and Fitness Journal that originally published research showing that short bursts of high intensity interval training, or HIT, can be just as effective as longer exercise sessions. With HIT, the idea is to do a quick set of 12 intensive exercises over a period of seven minutes. Repeating the set or increasing the number of exercises as your level of fitness improves. The idea is very simple and so is the app. Having opened the app, specify what you hope to achieve and the app will recommend a seven minute workout routine for you. There are a variety of different routines to choose from depending on which sets of muscles you want to focus on or you can customize your own routine. Surprisingly, for a relatively basic app, the accompanying watch app is fully featured. You can start a routine from the watch, you'll be guided through each exercise, and you can play, pause, and skip. If you create a profile, you can compete with friends and join in live workout challenges. After seven minutes are up, you're all done, allowing you to carry on with the rest of the day, feeling, fi feeling fitter and healthier. If the apps mentioned so far all sound like a bit too much effort, then maybe you want to consider yoga. Sadly, I didn't find a yoga app that was completely free, but there are two that I really like. The first is the Underbelly. This app is all about being positive about yourself, and Jessamine Stanley will guide you through learning to relax, exercise, and feel great about yourself in a series of video tutorials. There's no additional activity tracking or watch app with this one. It's literally just about learning to stretch and relax doing yoga. The only disappointment is that most of the sessions are locked behind a paywall. For that reason, you might want to try Simply Yoga, where a lot more of the content is available for free. This app isn't going to win any design awards, and to call the interface basic is a bit of an understatement, but what you get is 25 minutes of yoga routines that'll take you through all the classic yoga poses. Finally, how about something completely different? If you spend your time playing games rather than exercising, why not try combining the two with Zombies Run? Zombies Run is a zombie adventure story that plays out whilst you're running. Every time you run, you play out a new chapter of the adventure where your exercise sessions become part of the story. If you don't fancy running, you can walk. And whilst the app is bizarre, it does include all the features that you'd expect in a running app, such as mapping your route and tracking your stats. There's an Apple Watch app so you can leave the phone at home and you can connect with others by joining the zombie community. If you like the idea of being chased by zombies whilst running, then this app might be just what you need. So there are 10 fitness apps you can download now for absolutely free. I also recommend checking out the 10 apps that are guaranteed to make you smarter and 10 apps that you can use to make yourself some money. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more of the same. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.